up, YouTube? Today I've got something special for you. This is a Rain Brace military RC truck. Literally, that's what the title and description said. And that's my dog, Lily. Uh, I picked this up on Amazon for a whopping $48 prime, two-day shipping. And uh, it's got some pretty interesting specs. Check this out. As far as scale trucks go, this one's pretty cool. It's got a working hood where you put the battery. It's got doors that open. It's got a pretty detailed interior. And on the underside is where it gets really interesting. We've got a metal ladder chassis. It is true six wheel drive with differentials, right? It's got metal leaf springs and the tires feel pretty good. Like that's, they feel pretty grippy. But that sadly is where the headlines end because this thing is absolute garbage. Let me explain what I mean. This thing miraculously got 3.9 stars out of five on Amazon, uh, but I don't know why. I've got some gripes with this thing. Let me start with the transmitter. This transmitter is trash. When I got this thing, it didn't even work. I put batteries in it, I turned it on, and nothing. I ended up having to take this thing apart and having to re-solder the wire that goes from a little control board all the way down to this battery pack. It was just totally disconnected. There was a glob of solder on there, but it wasn't doing anything. So right off the bat, I had to take this apart and solder it to make it work. And it wasn't just me. There was a guy in the reviews that had the same exact problem. What the heck? Now this thing does look pretty cool. I mean, it's got these tow hooks molded into the front bumpers. The lights work. You got mirrors that are super flexible, so you're not going to rip those off. But this thing doesn't go fast enough to hurt itself anyway. Let's power this thing up and see what it's like on the trail. <laughs> start with the test I know it can pass. Flat ground. Reverse. Look at that. One thing to note on this, the throttle and steering are not proportional. So if we give it full right rudder, you hear that little motor in there turning? Yeah, the steering is operated by a motor rather than a servo. So you either get all or nothing. And <laughs> You really got to give it some forward momentum to even do anything. Same with the throttle. All or nothing. And that's it. So, not the most agile thing to drive, but uh, I guess it does flat ground okay. Will it go up this snowy hill? No. All right, let's give it a little bit of a running start. Come on, come on, no. Will it go over moderate terrain? Uh, maybe it just needs a little bump. Yes. That's a pass. Will it go over stones? No. Will it go through leaves? No. <laughs> Will it go over this thing? Oh, just needs a little bump. Oh, come on, wheel speed. Come on, wheel speed. Let's try it again. That was actually closer than I thought it was going to be. Hammer down. Give it a little bump. Oh, yeah! 
That's a pass. That is a pass. Does it go through grass? Eh. Not very well. But I know what you really want to know. How many beers can it hold? Five. Five beers. Which isn't even a six pack. So as a beer delivery system, not bad, not bad. Now, if you need beer delivered over any sort of rough terrain, this isn't gonna do it. But, you know, if you're just going across the living room floor or something, I mean, it gets the job done. But that's assuming you don't want a six pack and really you want a six pack. I mean, bare minimum, bare minimum. Now, I know what you're thinking, but it's a toy. It was 40 some dollars. It's a toy. It's not meant to go off road. <laughs> but in the ad, they have a video. Let me just play a small snippet of this video. In the video, it's going off road. Look at that. You know, you put your little GI Joes in there. That's cool, I guess. But look at this, it has a shot of these things just careening off-road. Look at that. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. I call shenanigans. Shenanigans, I say. Thank you. So it... So... My goodness. My goodness. Ugh. So, I mean... I'm looking out for the kids out there, maybe someone that doesn't know what they're getting into. If you're expecting this thing to be like a crawler, like an off-road vehicle, it's just not. If you want it to play around with, uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. It looks really cool, and it's got some good things going for it, but you can't always believe what you see on the internet. <laughs> and I guess that's the lesson for today. I know that it might be possible to upgrade this thing, but... Uh, as I've said before, my experience upgrading these things isn't the greatest. You know, it really wasn't meant to be upgraded. Now, if you are a tinkerer and you're good at building, hey, go for it. 42, 42 to $48 to get you into it. I mean, that's nothing, really. Um, but, you know, as soon as you put some decent electronics in it, you could be, I mean, you could have pretty much any of the WL Toys trucks or even one of those cheap-ish RGT crawlers that look to be pretty capable. I'm actually thinking about getting one. So there you have it. You're not going to get a TRX 4 6x6 for 50 bucks. It's just not going to happen. Lily, don't drink my beer. That is my beer. It's mine. <laughs> That's going to do it for this one, guys. If this is the first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. We like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time. I mean, not this kind of shenanigans, but legit stuff. Check out some of my other videos. Until next time, we'll see you. Peace! They say a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's. <laughs> but I don't lick my own butt. <laughs> butt licker. Butt licker. No! <laughs> 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 <laughs>